and some jumping around and some shouting and some screaming and saying some hallelujahs. And Lord, thank you for bringing us here today. Thank you for some much needed rain so we can get some crop circles around. Thank you for everything that you have afforded us with. Thank you for blessing us and blessing the Roman church. In Jesus' name we pray.
into the atmosphere, into heavenly places to tear down strongholds. Yes. Yes. And every time you go in with praise, you're going to tear down strongholds. Yes. These instruments are learning to tear down strongholds. We have to perfect our praise. It is not about what we feel like. It is not about what we want. It is the praise to the Most High God, the God of all things. And when we perfect our praise, we are breaking off stuff out of us. To, and we're taking everything we have and we're giving it to him. So we just want to thank him. Thank you, Jesus.
always, always be prepared to give a praise. Always, always. You are worthy of it all. Oh, you're worthy. You are worthy of it all.
and we give everything we have back to you, Father God. We give you 100% of us. The body of the River Church, Father God, gives you 100% of us so that you can have your perfect work through us, Father God. Our pastors have surrendered all to you, Father God, and we will follow suit because what happens to the head happens to the body, Lord. So, Lord, we just surrender all to you right now as a body, as a church. We give you everything we have. We give you all of our funds. We give you all of our heart. We give you all of our being. We thank you for the opportunity to even breathe. Every step we take, everything we do, Father God, is because of you, Father God. You are our oxygen. You are our air. You are our source, Father God. And we thank you and we praise you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You guys can see it's cracking for a Wednesday. Let's go. Look at that. I knew when church was ready to start the brother Mike pulled up. That's not a joke. He pulled up at 659. Church ready to start at 701. We love Brother Mike because through the thick and thin, he's been sticking with Pastor Kevin and making sure that Pastor is taken care of him. So thank you, Brother Mike. You too, yeah. Miss Cheryl. Miss Charlene. Sister Nova. Brother Daniel. Y'all just been with Pastor through it all. And now you're about to see the fruition of that struggle. The whole, everybody here is about to be able to see that fruition of that struggle. I don't think some of us understand, I know I understand, but some of us do not understand the magnitude of what our pastor has been doing over the past couple of years. And when it all comes to a head, pastor's been saying it for years, it's going to go so fast your head's going to swim. We're going to be from here to there like that. Just like Jesus moved across the water and translated the, the boat across the water, that's how quick we're going to move. And if you're not ready for it, so sorry for you. Get your praise on, keep your prayer up, stay in your word, and you'll be ready for it. So you know, I'm about to talk about my second favorite subject, money. I got my redneck chain still, I'm going to hold on to it for a long time. God, money, and guns. Straight up to you. So here at the River Church, there's several ways that you can sow into the dream that God has put into our pastor, that you can sow into that kingdom ministry dream. The first way is Cash App. It's cash.app slash money sign the River Church, Inc. The second way is PayPal. That is paypal.me slash River Church, Inc. The third way is a check or money order option. Otherwise, your cash needs to be prayed over and covered in the blood before you stick it in the envelope. And you can send that to the River Church Inc. at PO Box 307, Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin, 54495. Otherwise, we have the giving stations in the back, and Brother Andrew's back, so he can model yeah. this. I mean, we missed you, Andrew. Jeez. Where you been? Ohio. In Ohio. I hope you were ministering to people while you was in Ohio. Get Ohio saved, too, right? Right. <laughs> Father God, we just thank you and we pray. We just give you all the glory because you are our source no matter what we go through. And we want to give back what we can give back, what we are commanded to give back, and just be obedient in what you tell us to do, Father God. Let our ears be open to hear what you have to say to us. Let our spirits be receptive to your voice. And let us speak the words that you want us to speak. And let our seeds go and grow as we commit them to your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Chitlins, y'all can go. Oh man, brother Jake, you keep in here today. Hold it down. 
Give them that fire. I want some quick notes. You too, Brother Jake. You need too, brother. I want some quick notes from the other I want the clip notes from the snacks. I want a 10%. Come on, them snacks. Let me get, a, let me get one fruit snack from every kid. That would be a whole pack. So, for all the adults in here, let's bring our spirits forward and receive the word through Matthew W. Let's stand up and give God the greatest shout of praise you can on the way to the God's getting ready to do a new thing in your life. We'll find three people. God's getting ready to do a new thing in your life. God's getting ready to do a new thing in your life. God's getting ready to do a new thing in your life. God's getting ready to do a new thing in your life. When you're done doing that, you may be sitting seated. Praise the Lord. Amen. He'll put some pep in your, your step. Amen. God's getting ready to do a new thing in your life. I'm going to say it again. God's getting ready to do a new thing. I say, God's getting ready to do a new thing in your life. And then he said, he said he's getting ready to do a new thing in the life of this church. He's getting to do a new thing in the life of this region. He's getting ready to do a brand new thing. Something that uh, is unrehearsed. Something that nobody else has ever experienced. God has selected you and I to experience it. Can I get an amen? Amen. And uh, I had I had a, uh, a brother who, who's, a, who's, a, who's a wonderful preacher. I, I met him many years ago when I preached at Pastor Jerry Roth's church when we did the um, uh, Eagles, um, what was that called, James? Something of the Eagles, the Gathering of the Eagles, and um, his name's Pastor uh, Gary Ray, and he watched. Um, he lives in Tennessee, by the way. He he watched um, uh, the prophetic word I gave two Sundays ago, and he, he called me up and said, "Old oh, brother," he said, "God only gave you a portion of what He's going to do." In Come, your on. Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah. So, uh, so um, he's he's going to come here September 10th yeah. to uh, deliver some more stuff to you. Amen. Amen. Can I get a better amen? Amen. amen. So he's going to be up here from Tennessee, and uh, he's an old. He, you know what he reminds me of? For those who remember, he reminds me of Brother Purdue. Does anybody oh, remember amen. Brother amen. Purdue? Yeah. So he reminds me of that kind of style, and and you're really going to be blessed and. What I'd like to do is introduce him to you on that Sunday and then bring him back later so you can get acquainted with him a little bit and then bring him back for a weekend. Amen. <laughs> All right. He moves in deliverance. Come on, somebody. He moves amen. in healing and miracles. Come on, somebody. Shout amen. amen. Uh, he, he used to be a cocaine addict and God set him free from that. And uh, back in the 80s, he was at $1,500 a week uh, just as an addict. And that was a lot of money back then, amen. So uh, imagine what that would have costed nowadays, amen. So um, uh, uh, so uh, he, he, he tour bus drive with uh, ACDC and Led Zeppelin and, wow. and, and some country music stars. And that's how he got into drugs. But God set him free from it, hallelujah. Wow. And he moves in the area of deliverance and victory and freedom. And we're, we're going to bring him up here on September 10th. So he can add to that prophetic word that God gave us. He said, brother, you only got a portion of what God gave. He said, God showed me much more. Come on, somebody shout it out. So, uh, uh, so it's going to be a great time in the Lord. So um, that will be a Sunday morning. But I, I want to read to you. Uh, I, want, I, want, I want you to say God's getting ready God's to, getting to ready. expand me. Expand How many want God to expand you? Shout amen. amen. Uh, he's getting ready to not only expand you because I, I got to tell you this. When it says uh, stretch forth the curtain, there's a difference between the fabric and the fiber. Oh. Wow. 
I, I, I didn't go to good amen. Yeah. Yeah. There's a difference between fabric and fiber, right? The fabric is made up by all the fibers. You are the fiber. Come on, somebody. I'm, I'm not talking about the fiber you eat for the Metamucil. Can I get an amen? You are the fiber. You are the fiber that creates the fabric that causes the tent to be stretched. Oh, my God. How do you know that? So I, I want to read a portion of scripture to you first in the New Living Translation, and then, and then we'll go back to the New King James. But let's look at this together. But before we do that, lift your right hand to heaven and say, Tonight I will be taught the incorruptible, indestructible seed of the Word of God. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. And from this day forward, I will never be the same. Never, never, never. In Jesus' name. Then say, Father, give me an ear to hear what it is that you're speaking to the church. Now somebody shout amen and give that praise. Isaiah 45, uh, 54, 2 says these words. Read it with me. Enlarge your what? House. House. Everybody look at somebody and say, God's getting ready to enlarge this place. God's ready to enlarge this place. <laughs> and then it says, build a what? <laughs> say uh, the next church is going to have some addition to it. Next church is going to have some addition. Come on, schools. And come on, somebody. Gymnasium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't get in the way. Wait room. And then it says, spread out your home. And watch this now. And what? Spare. No, Stop being cheap. Uh oh, it got real quiet there. It got, it, it. See, because what God's getting ready to do is going to literally blow your natural mind. Because there is a multi-million dollar anointing being released. Yes. And you and I are going to spare no expense in building the kingdom. Right. You talk about a sound system, Brother Pete. Wait till there's $150,000 sound system. Come on, somebody. Shout out. Amen. Amen. And, then, then, and, and, and then it says in verse 3, for you, read with me, for you will soon be what? Bursting at the seams. Look at somebody and say, this church is about to burst at the seams. This church is about to burst at the seams. <laughs> Look at this. Your descendants will occupy other nations and resettle in the ruined cities of Wisconsin, Rapids, Plover. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Stevens, Point. Well, now, now let's read it in the King James Version. Read it with me in, uh, nice and loud. Enlarge the place of your... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There, 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 right there. There. Read it, read it. In life, the place of your come on, and and then what? Let them stretch out what? The curtains of your dwelling, and do not spare. Lengthen your cords, and what else? Strengthen your stake. Didn't we just put stakes in the ground a few weeks ago? Somebody shout amen. And, and then it says in Isaiah 54, 54 3, uh, 45, 3, it says, And you shall expand, read it with me, to the right and to the left. That's a 90 degree curve. Look, if, I, if I'm looking this way and I turn this way, that's 90 degrees this way. And if I hit him at one day, you know, 180, and I turn this way, I'm looking at 90. God is getting ready for a 90-mile influence right now. And that's just the beginning. Can I get an amen? amen? For you will expand to the right and to the left, and your descendants will what? Inherit the nations and make what? Desolate cities inhabited. Somebody shout amen. Now, I want to bring out nine words here for you. And if Sister Cheryl, if you can go back to verse two, there's nine words here, and then we'll hit verse three. But the first one is enlarge. Everybody shout enlarge. Enlarge. The next one is stretch out. Everybody say it's time to stretch. And then it says, do not spare. Everybody say, it's time not to be cheap. Stop being cheap. Come on. Stop being cheap. Come on, somebody. Uh, how do, can I get a better amen? Amen. Amen. amen? amen. I mean, the body of Christ is too cheap. Can I get an amen? We, we need to we need to be extravagant givers. We need to be lavished. Uh, we need to build a place that God says, look at this. Look what the Lord has done. Can I get an amen? And then it says, the fourth commandment. Uh, uh, it is in verse 2 it, it, uh, or, yeah, then, then it says lengthen lengthen and then it says strengthen then in verse 3 it says expand so I want everybody to shout enlarge, enlarge. stretch out, stretch out. Do, not spare. do not spare lengthen, lengthen. Strengthen. strengthen 
expand. And then it says, and the seventh word is descendants that jumped out at me. Your descendants, your children, and your children's children. I can't get nobody. You get ready to see an overflow of household salvation. Can I get you then it says, we will inherit. Come on. How many are ready for your inheritance? Yeah. And your inheritance is not just for you to store up and, and build up for yourself. But then it says you're to inhabit. Yeah, we're going forth from this place. See, I told you that this place is too small. God's got bigger things and bigger opportunities. And we're going to see the word of God manifested in this land again. You see, what I believe God is doing, he's establishing enlargement in this place place and these nine words jumped off the page at me and then I thought about it five plus four is nine somebody shout amen. amen what is nine in your bible well nine the number nine is used 49 times and the number nine symbolizes watch this now divine completeness or conveys the meaning of finality so God's getting ready for this church to come into a final phase before the end time can I get an amen, amen. And, then, and then Christ Jesus how many love Jesus shout amen, amen. he died at the out ninth hour of the day or 3 p.m. to make the way of salvation for everyone so God's getting ready to release a brand new wave of salvation in the region there's going to be people getting saved that you didn't think could get saved can i get an amen the gang members are coming can i get a hallelujah the prostitutes are coming the backsliders are coming home can i get a better amen your children are about ready to have a radical encounter with almighty power god's getting ready to do something new in the atmosphere and you need to not sit there and be silent you need to open your mouth and praise him because praise causes your breakthrough to so God is releasing something to us about the number nine in this church. And I, I felt prompted in my spirit then to go to Isaiah 45, 45. So I went to Isaiah 45. Watch now. And four plus five is nine as well. Come, come can I get an amen? So Isaiah 45 says, thus says the Lord to his anointed. Do we got any anointed people in the house? If we do, shout amen. How many believe your church is anointed? Shout amen. amen. How many believe I can put my name right where Cyrus's name is? Amen. The Lord says to his anointed, to Pastor Kevin Bishop Cyrus, whose right hand I have held because he has held my hand up high. Can I get an amen? amen. To subdue nations before him and loose the armor of kings. We're going to build some warriors around here. We're going to build, come on somebody. We're not just called to Wisconsin Rapids. Yes, We're called on, to different areas around this state and around this country. If you believe that, shout amen. amen. To open before him. I want everybody to say, I read these next few words. To open before him the what kind of doors? Did I tell you a, couple, uh, a Sunday or two ago that God was opening not just a door but a double door? Well, I'm here to tell you he's getting ready to open double doors for you. You are not just walking through a single door. You and I are walking through double doors today. Double doors of blessing. Double doors of miracles. Double doors of victory. Double doors of house Soul salvation and, and then it says these gates will not be shut Amen. that means there's going to be a continual flow of the blessing of God upon our lives can I get an amen, amen. and then verse 2 says I will go before you and I will make read with me I will make the crooked places what straight and I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. That means God's getting ready to remove every obstacle from your life and you moving into a whole new realm. The enemy has tried to lock you up and lock you out, but God is cutting it open and you're going to walk right into your Jericho. You're going to walk right into your promise. Can I get an amen? You're going to walk right into your financial breakout. Can I get a hallelujah? Then verse 3 says, I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of the what places? That you may know, that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by name, am the God of Israel. Now there's a double 45 taking place in this house. The number 45 is scripturally symbolic to double doors. And that's what God is doing in this place today. He is creating a portal of double doors, double blessing, double victory, double breakthrough, double for your trouble. Everything you've been through, God's about ready to restore to you like a big job. Double. Can I get an amen? amen. 
That's what he's going to do in this place. And literally, what the double is, God is doing, it says double doors. 45 plus 45 is 90. Can I get an amen? And I felt in my spirit, listen to me, that there's going to be a 90 degree shift that's about ready to take place in this house. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Remember, we said to the left and to the right. So you're going to expand 90 degrees this way. And 90 to come on. How many know what I'm talking about? And, 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 and th 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 that is a double 45 because it's the double doors of what God's going to launch through this place. As the 90 degree shape, uh, shift takes place, I heard this in my spirit, there will be a new degree for of the spirit of God in this place. And the new de degree will come become the new decree. Decree. Uh, yeah. The new de degree of the spirit will become the new decree of this place. Uh, in other words, everything that we say out of our mouth is going to manifest. Yeah. Because God is raising your level of expectation to a new degree. And the new degree will become a new decree. Come on, somebody. Can you follow what I'm trying to give you tonight? Can you pick? I'm, I'm talking to the mature crowd. And I, I'm supposed to be talking to those who are really in the trenches, especially on Wednesday night. Can I get an amen? You're not the baby Christians. You're the mature Christians. So I pray that you catch on to this word. God is raising you and I up to for a new degree of his power and his presence so we can have a new decree over the land. And I say to this region, this region will be saved. I say to this region, healing is breaking out from the north, the south, the east, and the west. I say to this region that we will see the salvation of our God. I say to this region that we are going to have revival. I say to this region that the Holy Spirit is going to move like the Holy Spirit wants to move. Can I get an amen? amen. Woo! So the new degree will become, the, everybody say that. Say the new degree, the new degree. of God's spirit God's will spirit. become the new decree of this church. That means that a 90 degree shift is launching the river church into a regional place of prophetic declarations that become amplified in the region. Because your words don't stop in this building. How many know words travel into the atmosphere? Come on, somebody. Are you catching up with me? Your words never stop. When you say something, it travels on for eternity. So that means that the 90 degree shift I want everybody to say this with me. Say the 90 degree shift is launching the river church. That means you and I. Come on, say it. That means you and I. Come on, we're decreeing some stuff tonight. It, it, into a place of prophetic declaration throughout the region that will become amplified in the region. Now somebody shout amen and put a praise on that one. When I was getting this ready, I, I was kind of, um, I was kind of struggling today uh, to get something going in my spirit because, um, you know, I told Sharon, I said, what I got tonight is, it's good, but I don't feel like it's as good as what I had on the last couple Sundays and Wednesdays. But she said, just, just be obedient to the Lord. Come on, somebody. So what I saw in my spirit was this, an outdoor arena, almost like a theater. Do you ever know what, what I'm talking about? Theater outside? And, and there's an outdoor stage with benches that titrate up the side of a hill. Uh, and I feel as though God is going to cause this place, the River Church, to become a reverberation in the area of the divine decrees of Almighty God. Our words are going to have some weight around here. Can I get a better amen? Say the words of this place 
and I'm going to have some weight around here. Can I get an amen? And I feel as though God is, uh, is going to cause this place to become a divine reverberation in the area of the divine decrees of God. It will come through the double 45 or from the double door that the Holy Spirit is opening because a 90 degree shift is going to establish God's work in this region. Look at Isaiah 54, 3 again. For Read it with me. For you shall expand to the what? To the right and to the what? And your descendants will what? Inherit the nations and make desolate cities uninhabited. Uh, 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 desolate cities inhabited. Then a 90 degree turn. <laughs> Look, this is a 90 degree shift. See, this is the middle point right here. This is 180 degrees. So, so watch now. He said, you're going to expand. Okay, I'm the middle point. To the left. And to the right. And the Lord told me like this. 45 miles this way. And 45 miles that way. Are you, are you following me right now? And then he said, don't get discouraged because that's just the beginning. Can I get a better amen? Because the word of God said through Bishop Ampia that they will come from over 100 miles away. But he said, I'm getting ready to launch you 45 miles this way. That means everybody in a vicinity of 45 miles this way is somehow the ones that God's calling. They're coming to the river. Can I get an amen? And, and, and the 45 miles that way, they're getting ready to come to the river. Can I get it? Now, that's just the beginning perimeter because God's getting ready to expand this place uh, uh, statewide and nationwide. If you believe that, shout amen. So if a person imagines himself standing, looking straight ahead, and turning to face the right side or the left side, they have made a 90-degree turn. The Spirit of the living God, I heard this in my spirit uh, this afternoon, because uh, I was I was really struggling because, you know, uh, I, I was, I, hey, I got good news for you. Ready for this? Yeah. Sharon had her first doctor's appointment yesterday, and they are very happy with her progress. Yeah. Okay. And I told you that when she comes back to full measure, she's going to have seven times the anointing. Yeah. Seven times the singing power. Can I get it? Can you imagine the decrees that are going to come out of her mouth as the decree of her anointing is written? Can I get a better amen? Look, I said the decree of her the, the degree of her anointing is rising. So the decree of her anointing is silent. Well, well. So uh, 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 so the spirit of the living God in the right time, and I told you uh, within 120 days I felt like something was gonna shift. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, right after that service, uh, somebody comes into my uh, uh, office and they say, Pastor, you didn't know this, but in 120 days, my life is going to change. Uh, so if God's just doing it for one, he's not just doing uh, 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 bringing it through one. He's not just doing it for the one. He's doing it for everybody. Because this is a corporate. And how many are ready for a 120 day change? Amen. And the person that said it to me is sitting here tonight. I, I could call that person out, but I don't want to put that person on the spot. But hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I'm here to tell you, things are about ready to radically change within the next 120 days of your life. The next three months and the four months are going to be critical. So you better put a praise on it. You better stop being passive. You better become aggressive. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent rise up and take it by one form. For you shall expand to the right and to the left. Your descendants will inherit the nations and make desolate cities inhabited. The, the, uh, the Lord is telling me to tell you that the Spirit of God is going to hit Wisconsin Rapids so hard that it's going to cause it to flip over. Did, did he cause the disciples to turn the world upside down? If you believe that, shout amen. Twelve men turn the world upside down. What can a church that gets engaged do in this region? 
you know, people want to say, oh, you're not a regional church, blah, blah. So you don't, you don't you mess with my faith. I know what I know what God told me. I know that we're not just a regional church, but we're gonna impact the state of Wisconsin. Yeah. Not only we're gonna inspect impact the state of Wisconsin, we're gonna impact the nation for the good of God. Can I get it? That's been words that have been spoken and prophesied over my life for many, many years. And you know what? It's been a struggle, it's been a battle, but I've learned this anything worth having is worth fighting for. Yeah. in the trenches. God don't, God don't reward those who give up. He rewards those that persevere. Amen. So, I've come to tell you tonight that what I believe, are you ready, Daniel Sparks? This is your double door season. Huh? I've come to tell this church, this is your double door season. Can I get an Amen. Everything that's been withheld from you, withdrawn from you, uh, blocked from you, God's opening double doors and getting ready to release everything that you have need of. I can honestly tell you and Sharon can tell you that it's been six months or so where I have not injected myself for migraine headaches. I've taken hardly any migraine pills in the last six months. God is reversing everything in my body. So that's why the enemy's got to attack in other ways. But watch how greater is he that is in me. I know that a faith that can't be tested is a faith that can never be trusted. I know this, that every time I give a prophetic decree in this place, the enemy tries to rise up and fight a fight against me to get my faith level down. But when I look at this church tonight and I look at the Wednesday night crowd that's here, I say, you know what? There ain't no devil in hell that's going to deal with my, steal my faith. My faith is going high. Look at your neighbor say, this is your double door season. This is your double door season. And then, are you ready for this one? God said, I'm getting ready to bring to you throne room encounters. That's what I'm Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I don't want you to read about a class. Well. I don't know what they're preaching in there. But why is a throne room encounter? I come to tell you that the heaven's throne is moving from a, 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 a future destination to a personal experience. Uh, I mean, if you really read your Bible, you're going to find things out you, that you didn't know. Yes, right. so true. Yeah. Always. And you know what I found out reading today, Sharon? You know what I found out? And I've never preached on this. In all 30 years you've been with me. The throne of God has wheels. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, you have wheels. <laughs> Not for long. Did I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> say the throne of God has wheels? Yeah. I'm going to show you a scripture. You ready? <laughs> Daniel 7, 9. Read it with me. I watch as the thrones were what? Put in place and the ancient one was. His clothing was like what? His hair was pure as what? He sat on a fiery what? Throne with what? Ooh. You know what that tells me? The throne of God is mobile. Can I get a better amen? Yeah. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say the throne of God is coming to your house. The throne of God is coming to this region. <laughs> Anybody ready to have not just a future destination, but a personal encounter at the throne? Somebody shout amen. amen. Woo. It says not only did they have a, a wheels, but it was a blazing fight. So everywhere them wheels are going, it's purifying things. Come on. It's starting things. It's creating things. It's getting rid of that coldness in the atmosphere. Come on. That spiritual deadness is getting ready to catch on fire. Can I get an amen? Woo! And I believe this is our double door season for the throne of God to visit Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin, and this region. That also tells me, that scripture tells me this. His glory is meant to move. Mm -hmm. It's not just for uh, the mega churches in our nation. Come on, can I get an amen? 
not just for the big time preachers. It's for the little guys as well and the intermediate ones. The throne of God wants to come to every church in this nation. If you believe that, shout amen. He said, I'm going to pour my spirit out on all flesh. Can I get a hallelujah? And your sons and your daughters will pray. But like I told you, uh, 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 what was it, last Sunday I, or two Sundays ago, I said God said he would visit every place, but they wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to stay because not everybody wants him to stay. But we want him to stay. How many want God to stay in this house? How many want God to make this house a habitation? Not just a visitation, but a habitation. Amen. His glory is on wheels. <laughs> his throne represents his glory. And we want, we want to go to the throne of glory so urgently most times. Well, let me tell you, God is getting ready to set his glorious throne right here in this region. God is, and his spirit is causing things, listen, to be set in motion, and you don't even see it. Things are already in motion, but you gotta come to that level of faith to believe that you can latch on to it. Because once you have the faith to believe that you can latch on to it, this bar the door caving, the sky's the limit. The glass ceiling will shatter. This place will expand beyond your wildest dreams. God told me to tell you that what you're looking at here tonight, you will never see small again. You will never see small again. Can I get an amen? I, you will never see lack again in your life. You will never see this church. Uh, I, I'm telling you, man, uh, We want uh, God is causing things to be set in motion. And the heavenly host of angels and the 24 elders are in motion to move to this region. Uh, there's something glorious coming. And he wants you and I to have it and be a part of it. And I believe you're going to experience and encounter some things that are going to be jaw-dropping and astounding. <laughs> Anybody ready to get a real report that cancer has died in the region? Anybody get ready to real, uh, get a real report that all sickness and disease has been banished from this region? Anybody want to get a report where you walk in total, complete victory every day in your life? I told you this church is coming to a place. It's not there yet, but it's coming to a place where you will no longer be affected or infected by demon power. God's going to cause you to walk on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy. And nothing by by any means shall harm you. Can I get an amen? Amen. Come on, come on, come on. And I hope you're taking this serious come because on, come on. I hope you are taking this serious because uh, uh, God's getting ready to release ridiculous miracles in this place. Yeah. He's getting ready to release unheard of favor. Some of you are getting ready to experience money like you have never seen in your life. Some of you are getting ready to. Telling you about the millionaire anointing in here, but you gotta do you gotta do something about you gotta start tithing into this anointing. You won't be left out. I was watching uh, what was it, Doctor Kiana, uh, uh, Doctor Kian Bridges, I think. Kian Bridges. Bridges. And he got online for 20 or so minutes and he was saying, I'm telling you, church, money is coming. Come on. Supernatural money. Come on. God. I guess you all got enough money. Huh? No, you don't. You don't. I don't have enough money. You don't have enough money. But God has it all. Can I get an amen? Right. He said, supernatural money is coming to the church of Jesus Christ. Uh, is anybody ready for a supernatural transfer to come to your bank account if you want to shout amen? Yes. Yes. How about, how about, anybody want to walk in unheard favor? Unheard yes. favor? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, amen. I mean, when you got unheard favor, unheard of favor, you might walk into that car dealership that you've been dreaming about 
and they say, ding, 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 you're the winner of a brand new Lexus. Yes. I'll take it. Lexus low or whatever you like. I'm not going to complain. But you got unheard of favor. And I believe God's getting ready to release that on us as a body. You can walk up to buy a piece of land and says, hey, wait a minute. The Lord told me to donate it to you. I'm ready for my unheard of favor. His favor will surround me like a shield. Right. Amen. When you got unheard of favor, you go to the doctor expecting a negative report. He goes, wait a minute, man. Your test results just came back and everything is all right. Well, sometimes we don't understand why we're going through the battles. It's only perfecting you to get to your yeah. miracle. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. right. How about this one? How about this one? Not not only unheard of favor, but magnificent miracles happening in your life. Amen. Amen. I believe God's getting ready to take this place to a place of magnificent miracle working power. And I'm not just saying that to say it. I, I come against that spirit that would come on you and say, this is a bunch of hype preaching. I bind that out of this yeah, place. Yeah, I'm telling right. you the Holy Ghost yes, is speaking. Yes, yes, and and yes. if you don't really want to be here, you don't have to be here. But you're going to miss out on the magnificent miracles yeah. that are going to start right. taking place. Right. Can I get a better right. amen? Amen. I feel like also that some supernatural life-changing events are going to start happening in this place. Yeah. Come on. Mm. Supernatural life changing events. Supernatural life changing events. Yes. Your whole life is about ready to turn on a dime. Yes. Oh. Amen. Oh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I had a text message um, come through. Um, it was uh, uh, a, a message from Brian Sikosh. If you don't know him, he, he, him and his uh, uh, fiance they come once in a while. She's pregnant. They, I think, they were sitting just behind Maya uh, on Sunday. And uh, or the other Sunday, I can't remember which Sunday they were here, but uh, uh, they were here on Sunday. Yeah. But he sent us a video uh, with with from Stephanie de France, who is a prophetess of God. She was preaching at Eagle Mountain Church uh, at, at Brother Copeland's church, and she talked about a tooth. <laughs> she she talked about a tooth that was twisted or in, in the wrong place in the mouth. And me and Sharon, we put our hands on the phone and we claim that she will be healed. How many would like to see a supernatural miracle like that? And if you're interested, you let me know. I'll send you the link. It's about an hour and a half long, but if you scroll back to the last 20, 30 minutes, you'll see that that that, uh, uh, that uh, um, prophecy. But anyway, um, ridiculous miracle. Yeah. Yes. Unheard of favor. Unheard of favor so bad that it makes other people jealous. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. Facts. Why did they got on there? Well, you know what? We sold and they can sulk. Right. Well, well, true. Just because, just because you're sulking, man, you should have been sowing. Uh, well, I'll have a pity party. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to have the need to explain your blessings to anybody. Right. right. Yep. Or defend yourself. Yeah. Why you got what you got. When the blessings of God are on your life, people are going to get jealous. I've been through this my whole my whole ministry, man. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I have pastors all the time saying, man, how do you do this and how do you do that with the little itty bitty church you got? I said, it's the favor of God. We are one of the greatest givers to Grace International. Right. Out of this whole nation. Right. Some of you ain't happy about that, but you know. we just sold sixteen hundred dollars to India. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Amen. Let's go. Look, look, look what Michael Rowan said. I don't remember what he said. He what said he that this little church blesses him highly too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He like, he, he, he he loves coming here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he also. 
adopted more kids in this little church from... That's right. We, we adopted more children out of this church than he would in a couple hundred member church. Come on, somebody. Shout amen. Amen. Even a thousand member church. Yeah. Right. He's lucky to get three or four people. I think, what, we have 17 or 20? 30 something. 30 something. Wow. 30 something children you guys adopted. Come on, somebody. Shout yeah. amen. Yeah. That's an amazing feat for this size of a church. I can't get no that. You ain't happy enough. Come on. You realize that your money is going overseas, and, 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 and man, you I don't know if you remember that old yeah. Ray Bolt song, but it says, Thank you for giving to the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Ridiculous. Everybody say ridiculous miracle. Ridiculous. Read your name and say you get ready get to ready. step in step an unheard of favor. Unheard of favor. You about ready? Tell them to see magnificent miracles happening in your life. Magnificent miracles. Tell them supernatural life changing events are going to start happening in your life. Very soon. Very soon. Now somebody put a praise on it. You want to see it soon? those who disbelieve that this is real business here. Uh, right. This is real business. There are signs and wonders in this place that God is about ready to release uh, in a real yes. way. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And I've come to declare to you this tonight. Status quo church is over. Uh, well, Let's go. Well, well. Boring church is over. Uh, yeah. I want the Holy Ghost uh, service. I, can I get an amen? I, I, I want a Holy Ghost to move. <laughs> status quo church is over, and I'm here to tell you, we will never have status quo in this house ever again. I want you to know, and I want you to really know, that something powerful and real is about ready to hit this region. We are going to see a move of God, a mighty move of God, like some of us have never experienced. When Brother Purdue came, that was just the tip of the iceberg. God's getting ready to do something greater. Can I get an amen? amen. Something glorious is coming. Glory. Look at your neighbor and say, something glorious is coming. Something glorious is coming. And his glory, tell somebody, is going to transform this region. Transform this region. Because I, I actually saw in my spirit a 90 mile radius around this church right now under the influence of the power of God. God's get, I told you, God has hungry people in the Lutheran church. He's got hungry people yep. in the Catholic church. Come on. Uh, uh, Sister Annie's uh, daughter was here on Sunday, who's a Catholic girl. She's coming back on Sunday. She, she really enjoyed it. Come on. It was different, but she enjoyed it. We got to get out of this mindset. This is, oh, I can't bring someone's over to my church because uh, uh, I got to exp stop explaining me and let them experience what. Yep. As soon as you try to explain it, they get on the defensive. Uh, I go to that church. <laughs> I, go to, I go to that crazy church. Can I get an amen? I go to a crazy church enough to believe that demons come out of demon-possessed people. I go to a crazy enough church to believe in miracle signs and wonders. Even though I'm struggling in my own body, I know one day my help is coming. Can I get an amen? <laughs> This is what also I see in my spirit. You ready for this? A 90 mile epicenter of a mushroom cloud of glory. Glory bombs everywhere. Right? Anybody ever see the old videos of nuclear explosions? Yeah. yeah. There's that mushroom cloud. Well, God's getting ready to drop something. Come on. Come on, somebody lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost for 30 seconds. I mean, out loud. God's getting ready to send a B-12 bomber, a B-2 bomber over this uh, region uh, with a cloud, a mushroom cloud of glory. It's going to cause an explosion, but it's going to release a residue of his anointing, of his glory. 45 miles to the left and 45 miles to the right for a total of a 90 mile radius. And that is just the beginning of what God is going to do. I feel in my spirit that something is going to break.
break loose from this house. Something is going to create a reverberation in the atmosphere. Something is shaking under the ground. There is a well that's getting ready to be untapped. A spring, a well of life. And in that spring, there's going to be healing. And in that spring, there's going to be victory. And in that spring, there's going to be household salvation. And listen, it may look a little bad before it looks good. So just get strong. Because I'm going to tell you why it's going to look bad, but it's not really bad, because the enemy's going to start fighting. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But be strong. Yeah. Everybody say, I must be strong. I must be strong. And I must, I must be ready yeah. for what's about to happen. Because every place you put the sole of your foot on, the Lord is going to start giving it to us. So the next time I walk through Plover, Wisconsin, I'm going to say, this is mine. Well, For the glory of God. Well, yes. When I walk downtown, whew, this downtown is going to be transformed. Yes. Can I get an amen? amen? The strip club, you need to shut down. Yes. Can I get a better amen? Every bar needs to be turned into a Bible study center. I can't get nobody. Oh, you guys like Glenda. I tell you, we got, we got transformed this city. So we got to be strong. And I had this sense also. You ready for this one? This one hit me today. This is the smallest this church will ever be. It will never be small again. I'm going to say it again. It will never be small again. I'm going to say it again until I hear a shout. It will never be small again. Because something supernatural is taking place. And I can't wait to see it. It keeps me up at night. It makes me quake in my boots. I'm telling you the truth. Man. You think, oh, you're built for that. Sometimes I don't believe I am. I just can't, I can't fathom it. I can't fathom what God's about to do, but that's the way it should be. Because if, I heard Stephen Furtick say, if your vision, uh, if your uh, vision doesn't scare you and keep you up at night, you're insulting God. Because he can do exceedingly and abundantly and above all that you can ask, hope, yeah, and right. yeah, come on. So, I've been here, Sharon and I came in, um, what year again, Sharon, 1999? Yeah. November 1999. So that is how many years? 23. 24. 24. It'll be 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. We've done everything we know how to do, really. Yeah. Yeah. We've had prayer drives, <laughs> prayer meetings, pounded stakes in the ground. We salted waterways. Come on. We had communion on the land. We dug stakes into the ground. If flag banners could bring it, we would have did that too. If you can't believe that, shout amen. But there's coming something that is supernatural. Open doors of God's power. Double doors of God's power. Double doors of God's presence. Double doors of his purpose to hit Wisconsin Rapids and this region. I feel a coming atmospheric change over this city. I gave you a prophetic forecast on Sunday morning and I'm telling you I believe that what God gave me is accurate for this house accurate for the region and you and I are going to see some changes going on we're going to see some miracle working power we're going to see the blinded eye open we're going to see the deaf ear unstop we're going to see the, the lame men walking and leaping for joy I'm telling you I pray to God that 
every person with migraine headaches, they are totally set free and it's eradicated from their lives forever. I come against hormone disorder in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against sugar diabetes and high blood pressure and heart problems and asthma and COPD. Come on somebody. I declare and I decree that God's raising up something that can't be shut down. The Bible says he's going to open up double doors that no one can shut. The devil can't even do this. Can I get a name of But your neighbor say atmospheric change is coming. Atmospheric change is coming. And when it comes, it's going to bring about signs and wonders that will only bring glory to God and not to man. Amen. Because if you're a true servant of God, you don't want any of the glory. Right, right, right. You want God to get all the glory. Yeah, right. It's time. For you and I to move into a place. Uh -huh. Are you ready for this one? Where the glory never fades. Right. Amen. Amen. Anybody want to? Yeah. I'm tired of just experiencing glory here and glory there. I, I want. I want. I want. I want glory to never fade. I want to live in the constant glory of God. Meg, in the constant glory of God. Where you see miracles happening all around your life. Where God brings you out of something to bring you into something better. We have cried to a point where we have, like David's men, had no more power to weep. But David, the Bible says, encouraged himself in the Lord. And then he said, shall I pursue my enemy? Is anybody ready to go pursue what the devil took from you? Yeah. Only a few of you. Are you ready to take back your health? Are you ready to take back your joy? Are you ready to take back your children? Are you ready to take back your money? Are you ready to take back your home? Are you ready to take back the reason? Are you ready? So the Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord. And the Bible says, he asked God a question, shall I pursue? And God said to David, you shall pursue. And not only will you pursue, but you will recover all. I'm telling you that the enemy is going to pay up in this season. Can I get a better amen? that what he took from you is not dead it's still alive in there yeah come on they thought their children were dead their wives were dead their uh, but no, they were still alive. So the devil created a diversion to get the people discouraged and depressed and come against David, the leader. And that's what the enemy will do in a church. He'll try to make things ever, ever look, make everything look like it's dead and it's dying. But I'm here to tell you, you need to encourage yourself in the Lord. Can I get an amen? And when you encourage yourself in the Lord and you grab your ephod, how that, what is that? That's a secret place. You get into your secret place with God and you say, God, shall I pursue? And he says, not only shall you pursue Terrence, but you shall recover everything that you lost. You're getting it all back. And I declare a decree over you. You're getting the blessing of Job. Double for your trouble. Can I get an amen? amen? So let's pursue a place. How many will, by the raising of a hand, how many will say, Pastor, I'm going to pursue a place where glory never fades? Yeah. See, there's a fire. There's a fire of God ready to break loose in this church. And I'm in the I'm in the mode of receiving it. And I hope you're in the mode of receiving it. Because I believe, should the Lord tarry 15, 20 years from now, this church is going to be written about in books of revival. Only a few of you want to win. I believe God's going to put these moves. What God's going to do in this concert is going to say, In the river church. And then that's going to be an example and a pattern to other churches that want to experience.
experience what God is doing here. And he's not going to do it the same way in Nashville or in uh, or in uh, uh, Columbus or wherever he does it. It's going to be an authentic move of God because I don't want a Brownsville experience. I want a Holy Ghost experience. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Pastor Kilpatrick's a wonderful preacher, but we don't have to have God move the way he moved there. God's going to move in an authentic way in this region yeah. and it's going to literally blow our natural minds yeah. and we're going to say hallelujah praise you jesus look what the lord has done if you want to see god move put your hands together give him a praise and a shout yeah. 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 bless every seed sower in this place. I bless those that have stood with us through the struggles and the battles and the wars that we have been through. And I believe, God, you're bringing this place into a place of, um, of manifested miracles, ridiculous favor, ridiculous breakout, ridiculous healings, ridiculous, uh, just ridiculous things that don't make any sense to the common person. But Lord, you're going to do a mighty miracle. You're bringing us in to a place of unheard of favor. There is money being released into our lives. There is health being released into our lives. There is joy being released into our lives. Household salvation is going to be so evident in our family. It's going to make us shout hallelujah. Praise you Jesus. Look what the Lord has done. We're going to see years of prayer coming to pass in this season. And we give you praise in Jesus name. And everybody said amen. Amen. Yeah, go ahead. So I saw Shut up. the ceiling rip off. <laughs> All right. God came down with his hand and he grabbed you by the head. And he took you up Ooh. into the atmosphere. Ooh. And he carried you like a football. And he took you over and sat you on a mountain. Ooh. Oh, let's go. No wonder I'm bald. Is the mountain of authority. The mountain of authority. church will move in magnified authority and amplified authority in an accelerated season where things will happen so fast your head will swim and you can't keep up blessing upon blessing yes. upon blessing yes. happen in yes. your life yes. Yes. father yes. take us further take us further increase our faith everybody shout father increase my faith father increase to believe my you faith. for the greater in Jesus name amen and amen and amen. Now give God one more shout of praise on the words of Father, take us home safe. Keep your hand upon us. Keep us from evil that we would not cause pain. We ask that you bless us indeed. Bless us indeed. And enlarge our territory. And we will give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. Father, I bless the people. Yes. I pray your face shine on them. I pray you give them strength. I pray you give them courage. And I pray that you give them peace. Somebody here tonight, you haven't slept in a while. You're going to sleep tonight. You're going to wake up with more energy uh, tomorrow morning than you've had all week. God is restoring your body. He's restoring your cells. He's restoring you. And there is newfound energy coming into your body. Now, I'm not talking about magical energy. I'm talking about the energy and the vibrancy of the spirit of the living God. For the same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead now dwells in you and he will quicken your mortal body in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Another person, arthritic in your in your wrist is being delivered right now. You get healed of arthritis in your wrist and hand area in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare it, I decree it, I release it, and I say it is done, it is well. In G Another person, a shoulder injury is being healed in this room right now. I declare it, I decree it, I release it, and I pray they will receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's little big toe has been hurting. That big toe is getting ready to be healed. The pain is going to leave you. And you're going to be set free by the miracle working power of God. In Jesus' name. And we give you praise. Amen. And amen. Give three people a high five, a hug, a hand.